A Sacramento State graduate and combat veteran in jail tonight charged with attempted murder after police say he deliberately drove into a crowd of people in the Bay Area. Eight people are recovering from that crash, including a 13 year old in critical condition. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sharon Roger. Tonight, the suspect's mother is giving us some insights, saying she believes her son was suffering from a mental issue. Isaiah would never, ever do anything like this deliberately. Never. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at Sac State with the investigation and what the suspect's family here in Sacramento is saying. Steve? This suspect got his degree here at Sacramento State after he was honorably discharged from the U.S. Army. Now, his mom says the combat he saw may have played a role in this collision. Isaiah Peoples' Army portrait hangs proudly at his mother's home. He was a sharpshooter, which I didn't find out until he got back. So does his Sacramento State graduation photo. First of all, Isaiah is a model child. Now, police have also released a booking photo of Peoples. Following his arrest on attempted murder charges, accused of deliberately driving into a crowd, Peoples' mother and brother are in shock. He has never been in any trouble. He's never been arrested. That would be the last person out of everybody that I know that I would think that would do something like that. Witnesses at the crash scene describe people's ranting about Jesus Christ. His family says that is a clue. PTSD may have played a role in the crash. Lavelle Peoples says her son was honorably discharged from the Army after suffering PTSD in the Iraq War, and he suffered a severe PTSD episode in 2015. He had a lot of fear that the Army was after him at that time and he and he would wake up at three or four times during the night singing church songs that PTSD episode ended when people's received treatment he eventually returned to a normal life and a new job now this violent collision police say was deliberate sending Isaiah peoples to jail those he allegedly hurt to the hospital. Well, I really feel sorry for the people. I hope they all heal 100% plus. I really hope that everybody makes a full recovery. People's mother says that the FBI interviewed her today in her apartment trying to determine whether or not this was a terrorism case. The police have ruled that out. Steve, thank you. It looks like a vehicle ran over several pedestrians. We're getting several 911 calls. And witnesses of the crash, Steve was talking about sharing these pictures and their disbelief and horror after watching the car plow through a crowd of pedestrians. And tonight we're hearing from one of the victims who was hit. The driver, when he got out of the car, he, he was saying, thanks God for giving me this opportunity and um, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Then um, he, he, um, he went to the, in, onto the floor and um, he was facing the floor. And then he was saying, I, I love you, Jesus. That's Miguel Babuena. Him and he and his cousin were both on their bikes in the crosswalk when the driver plowed on through.